<laughs> the hysteria of grief. Mary Chuan says many of her family members were killed when the attackers came in the dark of early Sunday morning. She cried for help, but no one came. The Christian community of Dogo Nahawa in central Nigeria is burying its dead after what everyone here says was an attack by Muslim herdsmen on this Christian community. An estimated 150 people, many women and children, were killed in last Sunday's raid. But some villagers say this conflict is not about faith. What these people want is the land, not a question of religion. But this tit-for-tat violence is fueling sectarian tensions. In January, more than 300 Muslims were killed by Christians in a neighboring town. This is a very somber moment for the local community, but also a very dangerous moment for Nigeria. The security forces across the country have been put on high alert because often in this region, one attack begets another. And quickly, the deadly cycle of retribution is reignited as local families here try to kill a local Muslim journalist reporting the burial. This is the situation that the Nigerian authorities are worried about, spiraling completely out of control. The situation here is extremely tense. The police eventually drag him to safety. It's impossible to know how many of Mary's relatives were killed, but there is no mistaking the depth of her grief or her hatred for their attackers. How does she feel? How does she feel now? I am not happy, she says. I wish even I had died myself. Whatever the reasons for the attack, its consequences mean that Mary's family are unlikely to be the last victims in the region's troubles. Christian Purefoy, CNN, Dogo Nahawa, Nigeria.